girls and guys, it's Presley, and as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about my teeth, something that I never wanted to talk about. And the reason why is because I have an overbite in my teeth. As you can tell, I got an overbite. You can see I have two front teeth. And I got a huge gap between my teeth. It's like you can park a snowplow between there. I'm not kidding. If anyone could roast my teeth, it could be myself. I can roast myself just because I have my two front teeth, right? Just moving forward. And this overbite has just taken over my life. And the reason why I have it is because of one embarrassing habit that I, that I've been dealing with for the rest of my life. It's because I suck my thumb. There, I said it. I suck my thumb. I have a thumb sucking habit. I do it at night, every night. And there, it feels good to finally get something out of my chest for so long. It's so embarrassing. Only my family members know that. Now millions of people on the internet know that I have a thumb sucking habit. And I'm like a young adult, 18 years old, and I suck my thumb. I'm not a toddler anymore. Ugh, it's so embarrassing, but I couldn't help myself. Every night I have the need to suck my thumb. But that all comes to an end because on July 8th, I went to the orthodontist for the first time. And um, the first time I went to the orthodontist was kind of nervous because they did a little x-ray on my teeth. And I had to go in a separate room. And the I had to sit in this chair while the um, while this lady was putting like a little Velcro strap around my head and told me not to move. And this camera was like rotating around me. It was pretty, it was, it was kind of ner uh, nerve wracking. It was kind of scary. It's like, like someone's trying to do experiments on me or something. But I have a picture right here of my teeth. See? And right up here is my wisdom teeth. And by the time I get my teeth fixed, I'm not getting braces, by the way. I decided to get Invisalign because I was so scared of wanting to have braces. I was worried that they were gonna hurt or something. And the worst part about braces is that you can't take them off and you have a hard time brushing your teeth or eating food because it'll get stuck between your braces. But I decided to get Invisalign instead. You know, the good news is about Invisalign, I can wear it up to 22 hours a day and I only need to take it off when I eat and when I brush my teeth. And hopefully that'll take an end to my thumb sucking habit because I... I want my teeth straight. I never knew what it's like to have straight teeth. Because it's embarrassing. I got this big ass gap between my teeth. It's like I could park a snowplow between there or semi truck or something big between there. See this shit? You see this shit? I look like SpongeBob. You see SpongeBob's gap? Compare that gap to my gap. It is completely similar. And there was an episode of Spongebob where Squidward was so tired of seeing Spongebob's gap. He just had to like, like screw it with a screwdriver. Have you seen that shit? I swear, I don't watch Spongebob like I used to anymore. But the new, the new episodes of Spongebob is not the same without the old episodes. But that new episode where Spongebob doesn't have a gap. But he gets it back in the end. Spoiler alert. Anyway, by the time I get Invisalign, I, I don't have it now. I don't have it just yet because I'll, um, because I just came back from the orthodontist on uh, Thursday. So I'm not sure if when I'll get it, maybe in a few weeks. But by the time I get Invisalign, I don't know how long I'll have it. I'm gonna have different types of Invisalign, probably one on top of my teeth, one for my bottom teeth. And um, it's gonna vary between how many times I'll visit the orthodontist and, and get different pairs of Invisalign because the orthodontist has to 
make a model of my teeth, as you can see by this little X ray here. And by the time my teeth get straight, which will probably take a year or two to get my teeth fully straight. But before that, the orthodontist said that I need to get my wisdom teeth removed before they can fully straighten. <sighs> I figured this would happen at some point. Like I thought I would have to keep my wisdom teeth since I have an overbite, but I decided to get my teeth fixed. And since I made that decision, I'm gonna have to get my wisdom teeth removed someday. And the orthodontist said that I'll get my wisdom teeth removed within a year at least. I don't know when, it's not gonna be today or tomorrow or next week or even next month. The orthodontist said within a year. And by that time, I'll be ready. And besides, I'd rather be put to sleep by anesthesia. Some people, some people when they get their wisdom teeth removed, they get laughing gas or something. But hopefully they'll put me to sleep without dealing with laughing gas. Have you seen those old videos of when people go to the orthodontist and they um they have like laughing gas or something and they say the most craziest shit you've ever heard in your whole entire life. But by the time I get Invisalign, it'll change my life forever. Hopefully for the better because even if it's not gonna fix my gap, it'll at least fix my overbite because I wanna know what having straight teeth feels like. And to be fair, Nobody's teeth is perfect. Everybody's got a lot of fucked up teeth every once in a while. Some people are born with missing teeth, and that's called ectothermal dysplasia. And um, a lot of older people, their teeth start to rot. And some people need to get like fake, fake tooth implants. And luckily, um, my grandma has like some silver teeth, like some fake implant teeth or something something because older people when when their teeth are not as good as they used to be they ended up getting fake teeth fake implants and uh golly that must be painful i mean as painful enough as it is to get your wisdom teeth removed whether you're awake with laughing gas or with your or if you're asleep with anesthesia it's going to hurt regardless by the time you wake up from it or by the time you recover from whatever you're taking from the hospital or whatever. It's going to hurt. It's going to feel uncomfortable. And the good news is about that is that I can eat soft foods for at least several days. By the time I get my wisdom teeth removed, I can eat ice cream for, a few, for several days. That's nice because... I've been taking a break from ice cream every once in a while, but luckily I can eat ice cream by the time I get my wisdom teeth removed. And hopefully by the time um, that comes, I'll make a video about it one day. I'll make a video about, you know, my wisdom teeth surgery and all that shit. So by the time I get Invisalign, I'll be happy. And besides, you guys won't even notice I have it on in the first place. But since I'm making this video, you guys will know in future vid videos, excuse me, that I'll have it on anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this long video. Sorry it took so long because I just wanted to tell you guys about my teeth because it's been a secret that I kept for so long and now millions of people on the fucking internet know that I have an overbite and a thumb sucking habit. And I bite my nails too, but that's uh, a lot of a lot of people have a nail nail biting habit. But thumb sucking, <sighs> kind of uncommon with adults. But I'm glad to get my teeth fixed after a long, long time. I finally decided to get them fixed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.